The year was 2012. The need was an extension cord. You see, I really needed to be able to roll around on my bed and play on my phone while it was plugged into the wall. And my charger cord was a measly three feet long. So I did what any rational young lady would do. Daddy! My dad is a fix-it, um, do-it-yourself type of guy. He can fix pretty much anything. You got a car dilemma, you need an extension cord, you accidentally sprayed your cat with OxyClean, <laughs> he can fix it. <laughs> now, emotional problems, go ask your mother. We like to say that my dad has one of everything, and he knows where each and every single one of those things is in his garage. Now, normally, when you ask for something, he'll disappear for a little while and come back with exactly what you needed. It may not be as cute of an extension cord as you were hoping for, but hey, it's an extension cord. But on this momentous day, he said to me, go into the garage, turn left at the shovels. You'll see a brown extension cord in a bucket behind the toilet under the ladder. <laughs> okay, sure, Dad. Yeah, that works. <laughs> So I gather up my courage, I turn on the flashlight app on my phone, and I set off to complete this daunting task. I walk into the garage. There's not a shovel in sight. Nowhere. There's not even a broom or a mop. What have I gotten myself into? <laughs> so I take a few apprehensive steps forward, hoping that there's not any spinning saws about to pop out at me. And then I see the shovels hiding behind a bucket of saws. <laughs> so I take the left turn. What was I looking for next? <laughs> Go into the garage, turn left to the shovels. You'll see a brown extension cord in a bucket behind the toilet under the ladder. The toilet, that's right. So I look around for the porcelain potty, wondering why anyone would keep a John handy. <laughs> <laughs> My dad's name is John. <laughs> Don't see it yet. I see some drywall, a roll of carpet tatting, a bucket of hammers, you know, normal stuff. <laughs> Next, I pass by a cabinet filled with, filled with washers, nuts, and nails. Oh my! <laughs> I um, duck under a precarious looking bridge of two by fours, and I spot the potty, patiently pondering its potential in this prison. <laughs> <laughs> but how do I get to it? Get behind it. There's a full-size fridge to its left and a dog cage on the right. It doesn't make sense for me to try to go over the potty. That's probably not a good idea. So I decide to move the dog cage. So I reach out to grasp it. There's a spider! I hope I wasn't supposed to follow the spiders to get to what I'm looking for. <laughs> so I awkwardly reach out and hold it as far away from me as possible and pull it back out of its snug little spot and push it over to the side. I'm in. Now how do I get to that bucket? Cautiously reach in, hoping there's nothing living in there with the cords, and I pull out the Ken's extension cord. Now, how to get? How do I get out of here? <laughs> Can we please have one minute of silence for the judges to fill out their ballots?